In this SNP, we're going to be looking at PowerShell scheduled jobs. In order to register or unregister a scheduled job, you need to be running a elevated PowerShell session. And notice that my Visual Studio Code instance has been run as administrator. In this example, I'm going to be scheduling my local PC to shut down every day at 11 p.m. To do this, I define a script block which I've called job, and within which I call stop computer with the force switch. This script block defines what actually runs when your scheduled job triggers, and it can be as complicated as you want. Next, I use new job trigger to define that this is to be run daily at 11 p.m., and then using new scheduled job option, I specify that the scheduled job needs to be run elevated. Finally, I can use register scheduled job, give this job a meaningful name, and then pass through the trigger, job option, and script block that I defined earlier. And I'm presented with the ID and name for the scheduled job we've just defined. But notice that I can't see the command that we pass through in the script block. This scheduled job will run regardless of whether or not you're logged in and whether or not your PowerShell session is active. If you want to update the script block that's running with your scheduled job, you can define a new script block and then you need to get the scheduled job object using get scheduled job, pipe that through to set scheduled job and supply the updated script block. If you decide you no longer want your scheduled job registered on your system, you can run unregister scheduled job and specify either the name or the ID of the job. If you don't want to define new script blocks in order to maintain the code that your scheduled job is running, you can instead point the scheduled job at a file. For example, I've pointed the auto shutdown scheduled job here at a .ps1 file on my C drive and now if I need to make changes to this scheduled job I just have to edit that PS1 file rather than updating the scheduled job itself. This is much more maintainable in the long run. That's been a look at PowerShell scheduled jobs. Thank you for watching.